Welcome back to Wee Willy Wonderful's Knitted Bunnies video tutorial 10. In the last tutorial we left you um, completing up to the end of row 22 on the body which was nine stocking stitch rows. So now you can see what your, what your knitting will look like. Look at that, you can really see it taking shape now. So the next row we are going to be doing is row 23. And the instruction is knit two together, knit up to the last two stitches, and then knit two together. And we're going to end up with 46 instead of 48 stitches. And that's because we're knitting two together twice. So reducing two stitches. So the number count does help you to understand. So you're thinking, oh, well, I'm decreasing two. And the fact it's 46 makes sense. So that, that um, just makes it easier to understand. So we're going to do this row next. Now to make it easier um, at the next stage, because there'll be a lot of repeating the same rows, I've actually marked down how many rows we've done. So 22, so I've done 5, 10, 15, 20, 22. And I'm doing that because you'll see in a few minutes, um, as we do the next rows, you're going to be doing quite a lot of repeating rows and it'd be an easy way to help keep track. So first things first, we're going to do two together, which is brand new. So this is reducing a stitch. So all we're going to do with this is normally we would go in here to knit our stitch. But instead, we're going to do two together. So we're doing both of them the same. So we're going down through both of them in the same way. So I'll go in again. So we're going in there and in there so you're just putting it through the top two stitches instead of just one so i'm going to go over as normal through and then off so we're knocking both of those two off so instead of two stitches now we've reduced that to one simple as that so i'll show you again when we get to the end so the next instruction is knit to the last two stitches so that means we're going to knit every single one until we have two stitches remaining and then we'll show you the knit two together again. So we're just knitting right to the end. Quite a long row, so I'll just get that done quickly. go we're getting there it's quite a lot of stitches on our needles at the moment as you work and just shuffle them down a little bit because otherwise they'll all gather up and makes it a little bit harder to work so you can shuffle these up and shuffle those down as you work just so that they're the nicest spread out on the needles You can see how it's coming along. I've just got a few more left. It's so easy to accidentally go to the end and forget what we were doing. So don't forget we're just knitting down to the last two. How many have we got left? Three stitches, so one more. And then we're down to our last two stitches and it's knit two together. So we're going to go through under both of the loops little bit stiffer when you're trying to do two together but it's all the same and that's that so if you were to count them it would be 46 so we're going to be gradually reducing to give the bunny his body shape so we'll show you here so you can see here the body shape so we're about up to here at the moment and we're going to be gradually reducing so our stitch numbers are going lower and that's to give him his shape. As soon as you can see him a little bit there. So we're going to be narrowing off up to the neck 
So that is why we are doing that. So the next row, I'm going to mark that down with my, with my pencil. So I'm going to mark that I've done 23. So I've just added one on and you'll see why shortly. So row 24, our next row is just a straight pearl row. So that is one pearl in each stitch. And of course, look, it says 46. So that means we're not altering any stitch numbers. So turn your work and pearl the entire row. Now, what I'm going to do now is leave you to do the next instruction, but I am going to explain it so you know exactly what you're doing. So, 25 to 42, so that's quite a lot of rows. We're going to be repeating rows 23 and 24 until 28 stitches remain. Your last row will be a pearl row. Patterns don't always add that detail in, but we've tried to include as much detail as we can to make it, make it more straightforward. So what you're going to do next is row 24. So you're going to pearl every single stitch, mark it down, and then 25, you're repeating 23. So you're going to knit two together, knit up to the last two stitches, and then knit two together again, and you'll be reducing your stitches by two again, and then repeat 23 and 24, so then you'll repeat the pearl row. So your next row will be a pearl. The one after that, you will be knit two together, knit to the last two stitches, knit two together. The next row will be a pearl. The next row will be knit two together, knit to the last two stitches, knit two together. And then the next row will be a pearl. So you're just going to repeat those two rows and you're going to keep going. Each time you do a row, mark it down and you should end up with 42. Um, but you're going to end up with 28 stitches on your needle. So as you're going, after you've done a few rows, just double check the count. So if you don't want to mark them down, you don't have to. You can just keep going until you get to 28. But if you're learning, it's far easier just to, to double check yourself by, by writing them down. So repeat those two rows until you've got your 28 stitches at the end of row 42. And the next video, I will meet you back there. Happy knitting.